I'm Dr. John Vanderkoy. I'm a psychiatrist on staff here at Homewood Health Center, and I'm the medical director of the Eating Disorders Program. I'm Joanna Anderson. I'm the director of the Eating Disorder Program here at Homewood Health. An eating disorder is a serious mental health condition that is characterized by a disturbance in eating habits, accompanied by a very intense focus on body, weight, shape, and it can have really negative impacts on people's physical and emotional well-being. Eating disorders are also characterized by extreme emotional distress as well. It often develops as the solution for a problem that people aren't sure how to solve. So, you know, underlying anxiety, depression, family conflict, low self-esteem, a drive for perfection. People respond to those kinds of problems in their lives with thinking that they can do something to control it or do something to fix it. And because our society is so focused on a thin ideal or being thin, you know, this is often something that's available to young, young people, especially young girls. Focusing on what you eat and what your body looks like in in the middle of all of these messages that if you do this or you're thin you'll be happier you know it can be a very deadly combination talking about developmental factors and and how you know children begin to integrate more with their peers and they care more what their peers think of their appearance the contributions of family there's genetic factors of course right. that would also contribute to that kind of intense desire to control usually is a response of feeling out of control right. and the discomfort that, that uh, an individual would have. Having any history of anxiety disorders in your family certainly predisposes you to an eating disorder. In a population in Canada of 41 million, that mm. comes out to about 1.6 million Canadians are struggling with an eating disorder. And that's you know, the numbers that are diagnosed, as yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, many people can have disordered eating without meeting the full diagnostic criteria. And so many people don't come forward for mm -hmm. help. Then when we add on all of the people that care about them, their family, their friends, the number increases yeah. potentially exponentially. Here at Homewood, our, our goal is to make every door the right door. You know, when you reach out for help, you should be able to find healthcare mm -hmm. clinicians that mm -hmm are trained in eating disorders and can answer your questions and to help your family navigate what can be a very difficult time. We're very happy to have you join us as our medical director. Some programs don't have a full-time committed psychiatrist. We're very lucky to have you as part of our team, but also, you know, full-time on this unit and, and serving the patients daily and being such a big part of their care. Um, we have a full-time nurse practitioner. We've got a team of nurses, personal support workers, uh, social workers. We've got a recreation therapist and an occupational therapist. Their focus is on eating disorders. It's what their expertise is in. We're very lucky to have assembled such an incredible team of people who um, have deep knowledge and concern for folks that are struggling with eating disorders. And of course, a big part of our program is nutritional rehabilitation. We've got a dietitian who's been here at home, what I think, for close to 30 years. She curates each person's meal plan based on their own needs and their own goals. And we, you know, certainly want to work collaboratively with patients. One of the things that I, I like about the program is the focus on having an individual psychotherapist mm -hmm. assigned uh, to each patient so that not only are they able to have their medical wellness supervised, mm -hmm. but they're also uh, able to focus on uh, their emotional needs. I'm really happy to see that there's such expertise, mm -hmm. um, you know, devoted to each individual aspect of a person's care. Yeah, that's really great. Do you have any messages that you would share with folks considering coming into our program or who are struggling uh, with an eating disorder? One of the challenges with um, mental health disorders, mental illness, is 
the organ that is affected is the one that's helping you make decisions. People begin to feel hopeless. Mm -hmm. Um, and they feel hopeless, so then they believe that it is hopeless. And it's absolutely not hopeless. One of our goals is to help people recognize um, these cognitive distortions and begin to recover their thinking, yeah. their perspective, so that the illness isn't dictating how they see the world. People often feel that coming to treatment is something that they couldn't possibly do or, mm -hmm. you know, put their their life on hold or make that step. And yet the suffering that goes on for people for many, many years really takes away from their quality of life. Often I think making the decision to come to treatment is the hardest one. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, you've got a whole team of caring professionals that are here to support you through that journey.